Hey everybody. So what's going on here is, those of you who don't know, we got asked by Fecon if we'd be interested in doing a partnership with them. And uh, I was like, yeah, absolutely. Who wouldn't want to do that? They provide us with a, uh, a cutter head or attachment, and then we do a video on it, put it on YouTube for everybody to see. So um, we're talking with them and everything like, hey, would you be interested in coming up to the factory? Absolutely. So me and my brother, uh, Dave, uh, Josh and Willie, and my good friend Joe, who doesn't live too far from the factory, uh, about two hours away, hour and a half, something like that. Um, we went up there, checked it out, uh, did a little tour, got to see everything. Sorry, it's not really the best video ever. Um, just not really my thing, walking around trying to stick the camera in, you know, the workers' faces and stuff. It, it was really awkward for me. I didn't like it. So just bear with me there. I'm, uh, wasn't my thing. So, but, um, the mask, it was hard. It's hard to hear. So I apologize, but we had a great time. Learned a lot about Fecon, um, where they're going, uh, where they've been, you know, just getting to see all the different parts, machines, uh, you know, the, they build the, the big ones from the ground up, pretty much everything that undercarriage, uh, you know, all that stuff they build from the ground up, not like the track itself, but the frames and all that stuff they do in house, uh, very neat, uh, very cool to see. So, uh, thank you, Fecon and, uh, Mike give a shout out to Mike. So, um, um, we had a great trip and from there we went up to ASV. So that's coming out in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoy this a little different. Um, but it wouldn't, none of this would be possible without the support of the viewers. So thank you everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this. Hey buddy, it's John with Upstate Brush Control here at the Fecon plant. Hey, there's the, uh, that's the new one, right? It's a low flow. That's a low flow, yeah. yeah. So, oh, look at this, there's the uh, push bar. Yeah, you just, need, you just need to add a couple bars right there. <laughs> you put those bars, have you seen that? You put bars right between there. Apparently one time the hose got caught up. Twice. Or twice, sorry. Yeah, we had... Shh. Got to get up. I had to weld one of those back on before. <laughs> you have or haven't? I have. <laughs> piece over it and then weld it in there. Yep. See like those have the caps on them. But they machine that out. Yeah. Oh here they are right here, right here. 
We'll take this uh, to go, please. Give me your credit card, I'll load up whatever yeah. you want. Some of these. Like no. The yeah. Ours has it like just open like this. Yeah. Yeah. See how wide it is though. That's yeah. why. So here's an FMX 36. This is how it's put together. Just like all our heads, they're gonna probably chain belt on it. Uh, that's not gonna stretch once it's set. All you're gonna do is just. I tell everybody. Once a week, check the belt. Oh wow. It's not gonna stretch. So if it's loose, that means something's vibrated loose in components or whatever you call it. So everybody, this is Dave. He works here at the factory. Uh, just kind of walk us through uh, this head and kind of the process, how long this would take to put you for you to put this together. Usually we put the rotors in first. Okay. Which takes around about a half hour to do. Okay. Just to get another thing. And then I usually go from there to putting the motors in. Yep. This is this is the exact same cutter head that we have. Right. Um, so there's the motor pump right here. And I usually go from the rotor and do all my uh, push bars and stuff first. Okay. Then I start on the inside and I do the uh, block, very block the motor. Okay. Okay. Have it done. For one completely done and brought over to here. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. And do you uh do you tune them here as far as getting them? Uh, well, yeah, the guy that tested those. Okay. That. Okay. Gotcha. And it already comes to him with the uh, with the rotor on. So this will be the first part he's talking about putting on, and then uh, you know depending on what. Cutter head you bought, VCR, whatever it is. So yeah. So pretty cool, pretty cool. When do the cover plates go on? After it's tested. Oh, after, after it's tested. After okay. It's tested, I got you. The guy buttons it all up, puts the covers on it, and all that. Do you put the decals on too? We put the decals. <laughs> nice. All right, man. Well, thank you for that. We're just doing a little video here, so. All right, have a good day. Thank you. All right. So they're seating all the seals and bearings and everything. Make sure it's all running properly. Every cutter head has to come through this place, this position right here. What were you saying? It might. How long could it run? It could take five minutes. It could take thirty minutes. Okay. Now, is he gonna? If this machine is spec for a certain machine, is he going to do that here? Probably already been done. Probably already been done, okay. I saw him put the little sticker on the side there, the little... Uh, so what they did six months ago might be different than okay. they're doing now. That's like a packer, rolls it in. Huh. You know, because it's so fluffed up, helps pack it back down. There's the, look at that, there's the undercarriage and everything. Oh, nice. So this is a new, <laughs> new, they've had it out for over a year. Um, it's a low flow cutter head. It's pretty cool. Um, just, they said it's a beast. I've never actually seen one run, but regular skids to your plate. It's got little DCRs on it. It's got these little rings right here. Little teeth, uh, they call them cubes or something like that. But it's pretty cool little cutter head. They said it works very, very well. Track you, the 150 is really in a dedicated steel track like this. You see it's got the loader arms as well, so it's very similar to like how a skid steer works. Uh, we've got an optional quick attach that you can put on here, just like a skid steer. I really like the, uh, the dedicated uh, uh, setup better myself. It brings that head in closer, but uh, it's a really nice machine when you're ready to move to that next size after a skid steer with the head on top of it. Does it come in the rubber track? Yeah, the, it's a Marutha undercarriage system. You can see there's the tracks for it. So it's a totally different, it's like a pyramid with the four sets of rollers. We buy that directly from Maruka. They make the big side dump machines and everything that are Okay. Can we sit inside this one? Oh, wow. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> 
<laughs> so just by research with people, they take the corner off and it allows you more entry room. Yeah. So you can swing your shoulder in there. I really it's set back far enough to reach. A lot of times kids steers, I'll turn around and yeah. fall into it. Yeah. This one, I have to go in and turn around and sit in there. Ooh, a little phone holder right there. Oh, yeah. That's a great idea. It's got a Bluetooth radio. Okay, there you go. Well, I'm standard with a camera, reverse camera. Really, how's how's really the visibility? It's got a 15,000 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we have a solution to do this. That's what I want. Yeah. Can you ask me for a password? That needs to be mulched for sure. Like your channel, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Josh, right here, right here. What do you think, John Boy? Uh, I think it'll work. We'll take we'll take all six. <laughs> Here we have the uh, six hundred. Something. It's, it's big. It's big. They're for sale. Yeah, for sale. <clears throat> She's pretty honking big. That's for sure. Spacious. It's a tank. <laughs> it's pretty much a tank. <laughs> Any way you look. Flat screen. You could do some. Uh, watch you know, some movies. Watch some. Watch some movies. Oh, look at that, you put a hot water on that thing right there. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox. Xbox, yeah. But, uh, ooh, yeah, nice. she's a beast. Already breaking stuff. Pretty sure you can't afford it. You're gonna have to get the gun out of me. Okay. Gotta have a high location. <laughs> got it! I got it! There's a Willie Jr. Almost fell out the wrong side. Seriously. What in the world? What are you doing, Willie? You can't, you can't get in the seat over there. <laughs> Don't mind us. <laughs> Don't mind us. So if you're shipping overseas, just load it in the container? I don't think that can fit in the container, though. <laughs> So, it's gonna need a ship. Just make it clear. Pack it in. <laughs> what do you think, Willie? I don't know. Well, here I we like have it. a uh, I feel like you're machine. going the wrong direction. I know, right? A wheeled machine. <laughs> Looks pretty cute. <laughs> this is a uh, prototype machine they were it's trying. A prototype. Yeah. We'll prototype one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big. Man, alive. Show Rick. It can, uh, it can spider crawl, so it can turn four like this way, and then go in, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spider Still. crawl, yeah. So, uh, what's the width on this one? Mike? Uh, let's take a look at the side here. Slam it, real good. Alright. So, uh, we could probably mulch about 400 acres an hour with this bad boy. <laughs> She's even got lights up here. For some reason, I don't think those are going to make it. Could be mistaken. So these machines are originally intended to go overseas and to, like, countries where they can have tier three uh, emission standards. And now we've got a handful of them left that we're converting into tier four. So we can sell these uh, here in the States now or in any country with a tier four emissions requirement. 
What do we have here? So this is, uh, you want to tell them what it is? A little bit of a prototype machine? Or? Yeah, this is a little prototype machine that uh, we started doing. Uh, we, we built two. We're only going to build two. We're not building any more. Uh, it'll do, you know, it'll steer at the rear axle and uh, and the right application this does a great job for mulching. More for flat ground, I'm assuming? Yeah, more for flat ground. Higher speed. Maybe some right away.